What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Nerdy Mark channel and welcome back to In Other News. So just to preface this episode, uh, today's video is going to be fully DC Comics themed. So if you'll excuse me, I have to change into the proper attire. Just one sec. Look at this. I've been doing, I learned this from TikTok. Well, check it out. Look at that, that's right. So we are in the appropriate attire. So let's continue on with the video. So sticking with the DC theme, I thought today I would react to the upcoming film, Batman Death of the Family. It's an animated movie, of course. Um, it is, uh, in case you don't know, Death of the Family is the story of Jason Todd um, and you know how he, he does get killed by the Joker and whatnot. So. Um, it's pretty interesting, and then of course uh, it is kind of like a serves as more of a prequel for Under the Red Hood, and um, and of course this whole storyline did birth my favorite Robin, Jason Todd, who would go on to become the Red Hood, who is my second favorite character from DC Comics. My first one being Deathstroke, and um, so I'm obviously very excited to see what's going on. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a much darker movie than anything else, really. Um, Although I wasn't too impressed with what they did with the killing joke, I hope they do something better with this. So let's put on our headphones and let's watch this trailer. This came out about a week ago, but I should have reacted to it then. But hey, you know what? We're here now. Let's react to this and, let, and let's go from there. So pressing play right now. Yeah, it's rated R. It should be rated R for sure. We save lives every day. Strangers. Is this Kevin Conroy? There's always enough time. I don't think so. But I failed to save Jason from this life. Joker got a hold of stolen uranium. He's selling it to terrorists. It's gonna take Batman and Robin together to close this case. You take them down while I investigate that warehouse we tracked Joker to. Please tell the big man I said hello. Oh, an interactive movie, huh? Wait, are you serious? Oh, wow. You can choose what ending you want. I alone will become more than the dreams and nightmares they imagined for me. And we're gonna... Oh, we're yes. We're actually gonna get Red Hood. My history. Oh my god, personal. yes. Oh Joker my showed me the truth. But evil can't be cured. Yeah. That's Red Robin, by the way. That's not just Tim Drake. That's Cheetah. Oh, I guess that is Red Hood. No, 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 no that was the hell two face. Red Wait. Robin awaits a verdict. Okay, this is Red Life Robin. Her death. Huh. Wow. Because of my choice, I had to avoid repeating mistakes. Dude! You know what? This is impressive. This is absolutely impressive. Okay. Again, this is so cool. I, I mean, I know we've had interactive movies in the past and all that stuff, but this is really cool because this is a story that I actually really am a fan of, which is the death in the family. And we have the chance to maybe alter it. However, I don't know if I would alter it. I would probably just go for the normal thing because we might not get Red Hood. And we got Red Hood right there. That's just so cool. I love it. This is going to be amazing. I, As you can tell, I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, the, that, this is awesome. We're going to get Death in the Family. We're going to get Jason Todd. We're going to get freaking Red Hood. I can't wait for this movie. So that's all I got to say. But what did you guys think about this trailer for the death of the family interactive movie okay i let me say that again interactive film you get to freaking decide the fate of jason todd like how cool is that okay that's pretty awesome and this is one of the and you know for those of you who are still thinking that dc is is gone or it's dead or whatever this trailer right here tells me otherwise okay dc is still in their uh, you know at their game yeah, they still have to, you know, do what they got to do with their cinematic universe and whatnot. But this right here, this 
I'm, I, I can't wait, all right? Anyway, let's move on and let's talk some more about uh, the DC Fandom event. So DC Fandom is coming out August 22nd of this year, which is next Saturday, along with an episode of AEW Dynamite and NXT TakeOver 30. So a lot of stuff going on next Saturday. So I am going to be one busy beat. This right here is supposed to be like a more immersive experience. It's, it's a 24 hour uh, kind of event where, you know, you can basically see a little bit of everything going on in dc i mean this is kind of i'm honestly just looking at the dc comics website right now as i'm uh, navigating through it as uh as we speak so um this is really really cool we're gonna you know get a lot more information to the different tv shows the different movies and the different video games that are coming out uh surrounding the dc universe now uh, a lot of things have been already um, announced, of course, Wonder Woman 1984. Pretty sure they're gonna have another trailer for that. I'm gonna read this, it says, you know, welcome to DC Fandom, a mega 24 hour immersive virtual fan experience, which brings the universe of DC to life and features the stars, filmmakers, and creators behind its biggest films, TV series, games, and comics. So we're gonna get everything and anything going on uh, for DC uh, comics right now. Um, there's. So the fan dome itself, like I said, is a virtual environment. From what I'm seeing and what I've researched, it seems to be a virtual interactive environment and it's gonna be available for 24 hours starting at 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is like uh, 12 p.m. Central and 1 p.m. Eastern. Apparently, 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 DC fandom is gonna be, uh, the epicenter of it is gonna be the Hall of Heroes where we can see um, you know, obviously the, the, the Holy Trinity being there and uh, a bunch of other stuff such as, you know, special, it says special experience programming, panels and content reveals from a wide variety of films, right? So, and of course it's gonna be in several languages which they have it all down there. I'll leave a link in the description below to this uh, exact site that I'm looking at and this exact link. There's gonna be several, uh, you know, they're gonna actually honestly compartmentalizing a lot of this different content into different categories and we can choose and click and and see which ones uh we want to look at so dc watchverse uh and you know we can see a lot of different uh panels and exclusive seat screenings and never before seen footage uh you know and we get to also uh see the uh, you know the cast and creators and a bunch of other things on DC Watch version, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, across the films, TV, home entertainment, and video games. That's what it says. Uh, the DC U-verse is where uh, we're gonna see a lot of user-generated content. So we're gonna see a lot of uh, fan art from around the world. That's what should be cool. I'm, I, I honestly do really like fan art um, when it's done right, obviously. And I've seen a lot of people like Boss Logic uh, on Instagram and everything. He is probably my favorite so far, as I'm sure he is for many of you. He's done some amazing stuff for Marvel and DC and all that stuff. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, if you don't know who that is, just please check him out. I mean, he's not paying me or anything to say this, but I am shouting out Boss Logic here. He has some really cool fan art that you can definitely check out and even purchase. Uh, Hal Haney is another person that I've seen do some really good work. I'll leave a, all his links in the description below as well. Please go check those guys out. But, uh, and if you know any other good fan artists, let me know in the comments below. But anyway, um, then, the, then we also have the DC Kids Verse. This is where uh, we're gonna see some upcoming more uh, family friendly, you know, activities and more f uh, fr family friendly kind of, uh, you know, uh, content here uh you know as as it is concerned with the dc universe so i'm guessing we're gonna get the that one um show where it's like the younger versions of all the dc superhero uh superhero in superheroines right superheroines right like uh you know we're gonna get younger wonder woman younger supergirl younger harley younger poison ivy that that show if you know what that's called let me know but th there's a separate site for it called dckidsfandom.com which you can check out and uh, you know obviously that's where you can see all this uh, content that is a little bit more family friendly. Moving on, we're gonna go, we also have DC Insiderverse. Uh, you know, this is basically gonna be like the centerpiece of everything. Uh, you know, obviously there was a video on Twitter with uh, Jim Lee kind of talking a little bit about the uh, creative process of creating this whole event, this whole fandom virtual uh, event. We're gonna get a lot of stuff 
the Walter Hamada, the creator of the and the creator of the Arrowverse, uh, producer Greg Berlanti. Uh, and it's going to be, yeah, uh, a 101 style introduction to the DC multiverse. So I guess this is where we start the event because it is going to be like a, you know, because the DC comics. Uh, they obviously are interacting, are operating a little bit different than the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, because they they call themselves the DC Extended Universe. But I guess maybe they'll change it to the DC Multiverse, which actually sounds cooler. But anyway, so I'm guessing like the games, the comic books, and the live action movies and the TV shows are all technically within one, you know, microcosm. But it is also like you know more alternate realities, basically. That's what they're doing. So I guess they're kind of using the the whole concept of alternate realities to their advantage. Um, DC is so to uh, you know give us you know more content. I guess give them a little bit more creative freedom with their content. So I think that's kind of interesting. So you know say what you will about DC Comics and their track record with the films, but this is this is pretty cool stuff in my opinion. But anyway. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're going to get a 101 style introduction. I'm just reading off the website here of the DC Multiverse. And, you know, we're going to also be able to go behind the scenes um, to a lot of the different artists that bring the DC, bring DC to life. So I'm guessing, you know, behind the scenes artists of comic books, games, movies, all that good stuff. So that's going to be really cool. I think this is very interesting. And then we also finally have the DC Funverse. And this is a little bit more interactive uh, area of this whole uh, fandom. It says, take your DC fandom experience and gather cool shareables. Check out our comic book reader, DIY cool Wonder Woman golden armor and Batmobile kits, plus digital giveaways and a store filled with merchandise, including some limited edition exclusives. Hmm. So this is going to be kind of like the store slash kind of like the more, uh, you know, interactive dome uh, of, of the DC fandom or the interactive verse of the DC fandom. Um, so, I mean, this is going to be interesting. So overall, man, I am honestly really, really, really looking forward to this. The more I'm reading about this, a little bit more excited I am getting for it because I feel this is definitely the resurgence that DC Comics needs, um, you know, because we need to definitely see more uh, stuff about their movies and stuff about their, uh, you know, about upcoming games and stuff. Like we already saw that, that Rocksteady, uh, the creators, behind, the, the people behind the Arkham games, uh, they're doing a Suicide Squad game and it looks like it's uh, going to be centered around them taking out the Justice League. So that sounds really awesome. Obviously, we're also going to get uh, Wonder Woman 84 probably sometime next year. Uh, well, apparently it says coming this fall. Um I guess that makes sense because I'm pretty sure they must have, uh, they only have maybe like a few more scenes left to shoot. And um, I I'm not sure what the status is, obviously. But if they are uh, that close to coming out with Wonder Woman 84, I'm, I'm very, very excited. So that's going to be really cool. Um, it's obviously, like I said, it's set in the 80s, my favorite decade, as you all know. Um, and of course, there's a lot of stuff going on with the animated uh you know dc universe uh you know they have like the deathstroke film there now i'm definitely going to check that out because deathstroke is my favorite dc character so that's going to be awesome but um you know there's they're gonna have a lot of cool i'm pretty sure uh you know they're gonna also talk a lot about the snyder cut a little bit more of the justice league um I, i'm guessing we're gonna have more information about the robert pattinson batman movie i'm looking forward to that but the thing, like I said, but for me, the one thing that I'm really looking forward to is obviously more information about that Suicide Squad video game. And of course, um, they are apparently re rebooting Suicide Squad, the movie, because obviously the movie from 2016 wasn't really that good. So, and of, but of course, uh, Harley Quinn is still going to be played by Margot Robbie, which is fine because she was literally the best part about that movie. So, um, yeah, I'm just, they, I, and again, there are a lot more. Uh, there's a lot more information on the website itself. You can go check it out. But I'm just kind of showing you what I'm really looking forward to as well. My original plans uh, last week was to talk about the Suicide Squad video game coming out by Rocksteady. Um, this one, I honestly, this kind of had me kill two birds with one stone a little bit. Uh, well, actually the same bird with two stones, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> the analogy is getting away, getting away from me. I'm just kind of excited about this. So um, this is going to be cool, and I guess it is going to be open for 24 hours, so you can basically access it anytime you want throughout the day. Um, again, this is just this is just predictions and, and everything, but 
I'm guessing we're gonna see a lot of new trailers coming out. I'm gonna. I'm guessing we're gonna see a lot of uh, more information about the different content that DC is putting out. Because uh, DC, from what I'm seeing, like as far as their live action films go, um, they have somewhat hit the restart button on that. So uh, I'm looking forward to see what they do once with this whole reset. So, um, but if, but again, uh, DC fandoms got me excited for whatever DC has coming up next. So hopefully 2021 is the year where DC finally makes their mark um, on in nerd culture. Well, I mean, they already have made their mark, but you get the point, like, especially with the movies. I, this is, I hope this is, that's the year where DC films finally make their mark and actually do give the MCU a run for their money. So DC, uh, DC Comics, Warner Bros, I'm pulling for you guys. So real quick before I give you guys a life update, this does not mean that I hate the Marvel Cinematic Universe or I don't like Marvel. I have made many videos where I've talked about Marvel and how much I like them and how much I respect them. So don't even give me that bullshit, okay? Like don't get away, get, get away from me from that. Um, I've talked about both DC and Marvel. I've made uh, nerd discussions about both of them. I should really do another nerd discussion. I really want to, I just don't have any ideas. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comments below. Yeah, but I, like I said, excited for DC a fandom and yeah. But uh, moving on to some life updates. So as you know, I haven't been uploading for two weeks. Um, that's honestly just a little bit because of work and because um, things have gotten a lot busier over there now. Uh, I mean, it's kind of been six months since I've started the job. So they're kind of expecting me to take on some more responsibilities. Um, which is totally fair in my opinion. So I am uh, very, very, I've been getting a little, a lot busier over there. However, I still said, you know what? I still need to do this job does take precedence over this job. Absolutely is more important, but I still want to do this. This is something that I like to do and something I enjoy. So I wanted to put this out for you guys. But anyway, uh, I'll obviously, as you all know, I'm also on TikTok now. Um, TikTok is still around, I guess. Uh, and if you don't follow me already, it is I am not the singer. And the reason for that name is my full name is Sid Sriram. And there is a singer named Sid Sriram as well. And I've been asked if I am the singer, so I say no. So I said, you know what, I'm just gonna make that my username, call it I am not the singer. Um, just thought it was funny, so that's why I did it. But anyway, as I mentioned, I've also made a very close friend on TikTok. Again, I'm not gonna mention their name uh, unless they are okay with it, but you know who you are and you are a wonderful person and I wish, no I hope for nothing but the best for you. Anyways, um, but yeah, that's gonna be, that was fun. Um, but that's been fun. I've been just making a crap ton of videos. I'm literally, I have, it's nothing to do with wrestling or nerdy stuff. It's literally me just doing a bunch of duets with my friend or doing uh, a bunch of like these dialogues from like old Bollywood, well not old, but like from like Indian movies. So I, I'm just, you know, just do it. That, that's kind of a place where I could just kind of do whatever the hell I want. Uh, a little bit more free form with no direction, just kind of doing whatever the hell, I, what I want to do over there. More, a little bit more of expression, I guess, over there. A little bit more expressing myself a little bit more over there. But anyway, uh, but that's been a lot of fun. That's 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 really cool. Um, uh, on the dating side, I've still been talking to. Uh, I, I did have a couple of weeks ago. I don't I don't know if I mentioned, but I did have a virtual date with somebody, and I have been talking to them for for some time now. And um, you know that they're they are a they seem to be really cool. Um, I don't know if they'll be watching this. If you're watching this video, hi. You know how are you? <laughs> but uh, we should talk again. We should definitely talk again. Um, but again, I'm not gonna mention their name or anything like that out of out of their respect for them. But um, but you know, but but they're they, they are a very uh, they seem to be a very interesting person. So we'll just see where it goes, I guess. But um, for as far as uh, I'm still I've still been you know working out, doing what I got to do. I'm a little bit. I mean, this whole last few weeks, I've just been really down on energy. And um, I don't know what that what that's all about. But uh, yesterday I kind of did some meditation. Friday I did some meditation, so that made me feel a little bit better. Uh, I'm trying to get back into a, a more normal uh, routine as far as meditation goes. I just need to see, uh, see how I can fit it into my day. Uh, perhaps maybe instead of taking my evening nap, I can do that. But again, you know, naps are more comfortable, so we'll have to. 
I'll have to just push myself a little bit. But anyway, um, but that's pretty much it, really. That's literally all I have for you guys as far as a life update. And just like that, we bring another episode of In Other News to a close. Let me know what you guys think about this whole DC fandom event. And also, what are you looking forward to most in the coming future for DC Comics as far as movies, games, shows, comic book storylines, whatever uh, you want. Let me know in the comments below. Or what is something that you would like to see from DC Comics? Leave all that and more in the comments section below. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. Tell your friends about the nerdy mark. I love you guys. Thank you for your support. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.